Hey everybody, Kat here. I just wanted to hop on right quick and um, just show you the easiest, quickest, simplest dessert that you'll ever make. It's literally gonna blow your mind because it's so easy. You cannot mess this up. It's a, a duck cake. So all we're gonna do is just uh, dump in the ingredients and then we're gonna bake it. And um, I will show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll take a picture of it later when it comes out of the oven. So first you need um, any two flavors of uh, pie filling. Today, what I had on hand was peach pie filling as well as apple pie filling. Um, I've done this with strawberry before. Um, I've done it with pineapple. You can do it with cherry, as long as you just have two different ones. And these are uh, 21 ounce cans. So I, I did go ahead and spray my pan so that it will not stick. So all I'm doing is opening these up. And I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the pan. This is the apple. Okay. Okay, we got that. Next is the peach. And this is such a great recipe with um, spring here and summer coming up. Peaches are coming in season pretty soon. Strawberries will be in season. Um, obviously you don't have to use fresh fruit. This makes it so much easier, but it's super simple. If you're having guests over unexpectedly and you need a dessert, you can just put this together in literally five minutes and throw it in the oven. I love one pan dishes and desserts. Excuse the uh, kids if you hear them. I'm trying to sneak and do this right quick. So I've got a nice layer of fruit on the bottom. As you can see that. Next, you need any flavor cake mix. I had butter golden, but I've also done this with white, um, yellow. I would probably try to stick to the whites and yellows as opposed to the chocolates. That might be a little too much flavor combination, but whatever floats your boat. So I'm gonna open this and sprinkle it on top. Try to get it as evenly as possible because you do not want to mix this in. That's kind of an important step. You're not going to mix all this together. You're just going to kind of let it cook. And this topping is going to kind of become like a crust on top, almost like a peach cobbler crust. So I'm just gonna kind of shake it and get it even so that it cooks nice and evenly. Okay, and then you're gonna take one stick of butter. Now I said this was a really good, awesome recipe, but I didn't say it was the most healthiest recipe, but in our household, we go with all things in moderation. So you're just gonna cut little pads of butter like that. I'm gonna throw them on top. Just spread them out evenly. There's no rhyme or reason to it because this is all gonna melt in. And like I said, it's gonna make a nice uh, crust on top. So there you have it before it goes in the oven. I'm going to bake this at a 350 degree oven for 
30, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven. Um, if it starts getting too brown on top, because the butter will make it brown quicker, uh, you want to cover it up with tin foil or just a um, pan on top and then cook it the rest of the way until it's done because you don't want it too, too brown on top. I do like to get it a little crunchy and crispy and darker on top, but just don't take it too far. Okay, that was my easy peasy dump cake. Let me know if you'd like to see any more recipes. All right, bye-bye.